Good morning, everybody on YouTube. Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you guys with another exciting video. And today's really exciting because we're going to be talking about what sells best on eBay. And specifically, we're going to be diving into John Varvato's products. So I went through the eBay sold listings. I found 10 John Varvato's items that sold really, really well on eBay. And I want to share them with you. Why? Because I want you to be able to recognize these items. So when you're out there at thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, wherever it is you go to source products to resell for a profit on eBay, I want you to be able to recognize them, to find them, to be able to turn a profit. So I did the legwork for you guys. So now let me jump into the sole listings and share with you these 10 items. So let me share my screen with you. Bear with me for one moment. All right, so here we are. Let's dive into item number one. Let me just make sure really quick that the audio is working properly. Bear with me for one second. All right. Okay, looks good, looks good. And again, welcome, welcome everybody who's watching live right now. Be sure to smash that like button. I'll be into the comments momentarily to answer your questions. So First item we have up here is actually a lot of three John Varvato's polo shirts. Now you can see the little logo right on the front of the shirt. It's like a little, I don't know, kind of like you're putting up two hand, two fingers, like peace, like what's up, peace, like two little, uh, two little fingers sticking up, got a little peace logo right there. John Varvato's, uh, there's the written text, USA. You'll, you'll see that star quite often next to the name. But a lot of three, uh, peace sign John Varvato's, uh, polo shirts, all size extra large. And when you're selling clothing in lots, make sure that they're all the same size. It, it's going to do a lot better if you, you know, rather than like putting like an extra large, a medium and a small, cause you're not really targeting a specific person. So, you know, these shirts new in the store, probably who knows 50 to hundred dollars each. So this is a bargain. Um, this was an auction style listing. Three bids came in for $62 plus shipping. Great item. Excellent listing. I love the pictures that they took. looks great. Next up, we have a John Varvato's leather jacket. Now, when you're dealing with clothing brands like John Varvato's, really strong brands, and you start hitting on items that are leather, like leather jackets and whatnot, you're going to be in for big bucks right here. This is a uh, full zip brown leather jacket. Came in at $135 right here. Take a look at the tag. Show you guys a couple pictures. You know, it's a decent picture. It's not, you know, it's not overcomplicated. They just put it against some type of wood background and uh, it looks good. There is a little over, over contrast of the light. You can tell there's some strong lights hitting that jacket. So it's not the greatest pictures in the world, but decent. Nothing wrong with that. Looks like the seller provided some measurements made in Italy. So there you, you see the 54 XL. That's an Italian size right there. Great item. Not bad at all. That's where you'd make the money. Next up, we have a pair of John Varvato's sunglasses. Now, when you're going to the thrift stores, don't miss the opportunity in the sunglasses section. Um, you know, I don't have a ton of experience finding profitable items in the sunglasses section, and not all thrift stores are going to have it. But look through there because imagine finding yourself a pair of V758 sunglasses and flipping them for $80. Check out some of the pictures right there. You can see John Varvato's written on that side of the sunglasses. Even comes with the case, which is going to be a, a nice value proposition. But just another great example of a strong brand selling within items that are even outside of the clothing category. Speaking of lots, we had the, the you know the lot of three polo shirts, the peace sign polo shirts that had sold for sixty two dollars auction style. Here we have a listing by million dollar eBay seller Linda's stuff with over seven hundred and four thousand feedback, which is just ridiculous. Um, only forty six dollars for a lot of four. I'm, I'm actually very surprised by this, and you know it's a great time to talk about the downsides to. Uh, listing via auction. One of the downsides is if you don't have a lot of interest or you don't have people battling it out, putting bids down, you know, these items can go for a little less than, than you might've hoped for. And 46 bucks is pretty, I don't know. It just seems a little undervalued for a pair of, you know, John Varvato's a lot of four. Uh, so only 46 bucks with free shipping, which is rough right there. Uh, that's why I prefer buy it now. Best offer you know, get that higher price. But, you know, there are a lot of benefits to, to listing auction as well, which is 
keeping your inventory moving and you know, Linda's stuff. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she has a hundred thousand items in her inventory. So definitely want to keep items moving, but, uh, there you go. A lot of four looks like, uh, boot cut jeans size 31, 32. So very similar. Got the USA tag on the back. Very nice pictures. Nice white background. Not bad. Next up is a really cool pair of Converse shoes. Taylor, uh, made by John Varvatos as well, or designed by John Varvatos. I'm not exactly sure, but 24 bids came in on this pair of John Varvatos Converse sneakers at $61 plus 12 bucks shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for Converse shoes. Um, if there is an association with John Varvatos, you, you are going to be looking at making some good good money size 10 and a half right here rare vintage john varvados converse shoes 10 and a half chuck taylor jack designer 100 authentic no box which is okay some people you know they ask the question do i need the the original box to sell uh, a pair of shoes you don't you know it would definitely add some value to it for for certain types of shoes you know these converse possibly you know maybe some rare jordan sneakers or whatnot but uh 61 dollars right here not bad whatsoever Next up, we have a phenomenal John Varvatos suit that sold. We have a size 40 regular slim fit wool plaid check gray item right here. Uh, the seller did a phenomenal job at prepping this mannequin. Beautiful looking mannequin. Prepped it with a dress shirt underneath with a nice strong colored red tie right there. Um, very nice item. I thought it was a suit. Are there any pants included? Let me look. Uh, yep, there's the pants right there. 100% uh, virgin wool, made in Italy, which is very nice. Just a just a good looking suit right here. Nothing special, but you know, I think that they got this price because they just made the listing look great. I love the pure white bleached out background. I love the dress shirt being prepped on the mannequin with the with the red colored tie. Just a great presentation right here. Uh, moving down into the description. Um, I'm looking to see if the measurements are included, and they are. What a phenomenal looking listing! John Varvatos, 40 regular, um, got a whole bunch of measurements from you know underarm to underarm, length, shoulder to shoulder, sleeves, uh, even including some of the extra material to the sleeves, which is coming in at two and a quarter inches. Got a bunch of measurements with pants, material. I mean, just a great looking listing right here. Um, no wonder they sold for so much money. Next up, we have a pair of black chukka boots, and this came in at $64.99, and I believe I saw the college picker flip uh, a pick up a pair of these at the thrift store the other day for his new pharmacy job, so big shout out to the college picker. If you're not watching his videos, go check them out, uh, but a very, very awesome style pair of boots right here, John Varvatos. This is one of their most popular um Types of items when dealing with shoes. Um, I'm gonna show with I'm gonna share with you guys another pair of shoes as well. But this sold for $64.99 right here. Size nine, uh, desert boots, just great looking item right there. And just based on the condition, they look decent. Next up is a John Varvados Pebble Leather Briefcase, right? Who would have thought that a John Varvados briefcase would have brought in some good money? Well, it actually did. 16 bids came in on this item. Uh, appears to be in great condition. $73 plus shipping. Item was located in San Francisco, California. Looking down the listing, um, condition brown leather case from John Varvados. Bart bought for $300, 14 inches by 11 inches. So $300 MSRP resold for $73. Let's take a look at this item. It looks great. There's a little star. They're always proud to advertise made in the USA. Uh, just a great looking item. Be on the lookout for leather briefcases. Um, I was with the Bonafide Hustler in Austin, Texas. He came across a really awesome LL Bean briefcase. It wasn't leather, uh, but just goes to show, you know, there's money to be made in briefcases. Next up, speaking of shoes that I mentioned earlier, here we have a pair of John Varvatos Oxford style size 11 and a half leather lace up shoes, $199. If you guys are not messing with shoes, whether you're dealing with John Varvatos or you're dealing with Allen Edmonds or Johnson and Murphy or, you know, the list goes on and on, get yourself in the shoe game. You don't have to be a full-time shoe seller, but be aware of some of these brands that are popular. Be aware of some of these styles. 
that have a strong market and a strong following. Just a beautiful pair of John Varvatos Oxford style shoes. Uh, taking a look at the pictures, I mean, just an absolutely beautiful picture. I don't know how they have that darkened background. Um, maybe they just have a gray background. I don't know. It just like blends in nice. It looks so freaking clean. Wow. What a beautiful picture right here. Distinctive deals. You are coming in hard with the high quality photography. So pretty impressed by that. Um, description reads original retail 298. So 298 original retail sold them for 199, which is pretty cool. Uh, leather upper cap toe style, leather line, rubber, rubber sole, rubber heel, obviously made in the USA by, um, well, it says, you know, it's funny. It says model star USA by John Barbados made in China. So they're actually not made in the USA. Oops. Um, good looking item right here. I like how they are, um, not only sharing the size in us, but also 10 and a half UK and European size 44 and a half. So pretty cool. Got a bunch of different items here. Condition chart. Great listing right here. This is, this is a seller that you would definitely want to, uh, study and research because it just, it's a great looking listing. And last but not least, we have a John of our Vado's lightweight packable poly trench coat raincoat. Um, that's what the title reads. A lot of good keywords in there. Raincoat, uh, trench coat, packable poly trench. That might be a good keyword right there. Uh, but great looking listing right here. It looks like this seller even put a watermark over his listing, which I don't know. I don't know why it really matters that much. I guess some, some sellers are just proud. Um, and I, maybe that's a way for them to have a step up on a competition. I'm not sure. But um, anyways, this sold for $125, a John Varvato's um, raincoat. Really cool. Looks like they got the green screen going on in the back. So I'm not sure if they're going to try to like uh, edit in like a rainforest or something. But uh, pretty cool item right there. There's the tag. Looks like the material is 55% polyester lining and 45% rayon the shell, which is the outside of the jackets coming in with a hundred percent polyester to protect you against that rain. Obviously it's a men's jacket. It's not obvious because it almost looks like a women's in, in, in a way. Uh, but anyways, the description reads, you are buying the coat in the pictures. We are closed Sundays and Mondays. So your questions may not be answered until Tuesdays. So if I ask them a question today, Considering it's Monday, I guess I won't get an answer back. Uh, anyways, yeah, cool item right there. This seller has over 10,000 feedback. MC Parts Motorcycles. So pretty cool listing right there. So that's all I got for you guys. Those are 10 items that sold within the John Varvatos brand. Let me flip around my camera, get back into action. Boom, what's going on? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to open up your eyes to the brand John Varvatos and um, you know, I'm actually on Wikipedia right now and, and John Varvatos, the actual founder, he was born in 1962. He's 55 years old, uh, graduated from the university of Michigan. And it looks like in late 1999, John Varvatos actually started the company debuting his first clothing line at the end of 2000 in New York. Uh, the branding, the brand now includes belts, handbags, footwear, eyewear, watches, and fragrance fragrances. So there's a lot of various items that you can, you know, pick up to resell on eBay um, that I just mentioned. Uh, it looks like in September of 2000, within months of showing his first collection, Varvatos opened a freestanding boutique in Soho. The collection is currently distributed in all John Varvatos boutiques, including the 315 Bowery boutique in a space that formerly housed the underground music club CBGB. Very interesting right there. So they've done a lot of different things. 2009 saw the launch of New York Nights. 2012, John Varvatos joined the cast of Celebrity Mentors of NBC's Fashion Star. I didn't know that. 2013, Varvatos saw the release of a limited edition Chrysler 300 in his name. Uh, in 2014, John Varvatos partnered with Monte Lippmann's Republic label to launch John Varvatos Records, initially signing Zach Brown Band. So, uh, you know, it looks like a lot of interesting things are going on. Um, from that, um, from this video, I shared with you guys that pair of Converse. In 2001, Varvatos and Converse formed a partnership, and Varvatos was licensed to create a line of high-end sneakers, which you saw. Um, a partnership that still continues today, John Varvatos sneakers are usually produced in the style of high-top Chuck Taylor All-Stars. 
So um, Jeff, definitely a great brand. Want to share a little bit of the, the history with you as well. Thought it was pretty interesting. Um, 77 people watching live. Do me a big favor. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to go down below and hit that like button. It only takes a second. It really does help out a lot. Let's me know I'm doing a good job and definitely motivates me to make more videos like this in the future. We got Deb M in the house. We got Breet's shop saying celebrities wear John Varvedos. They sure do. Eric P is saying excellent live chat, Steve. Uh, who else we got in the house? We got Barbara. Good to see you. We got Dat Fabric. Matt Dresner. What's going on, Matt? Good to see you. Isaac Carpenter. Tom, what's going on? Thanks, Steve. Just found Derek Hart sweatpants. Very cool. That's interesting. Deb says, Steve, you just gave away my thrifting secret. Sunglasses. Uh-oh. So Deb is, is definitely flipping and making money with sunglasses. So that is good to know. Brick Quest. Good to see uh, Kristen Frank, my new girlfriend. I'm just kidding. That comment was really funny the other day. Um, Anis, are these easy to find? John Varvatos is definitely out there. Um, you know, it's not the easiest brand in the world to find, but they're out there for sure. You know, you'll find a lot of dress shirts. I've found a couple suits. I've never found sunglasses. Um, do they make ties? I don't know if they make ties or not. Deb says, I don't see your trampoline in the background. I've, I've actually had some company over, so I moved it up into the bedroom. <laughs> Just 10 Pac-Man. What's going on? Good to see you. We got my main man, Bob Weiss, in the house. What's going on, Bob? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. GC and Corpy Commerce and Real Estate says, I have a few John Varvatos Converse cardigans. Interesting. TK, what's going on, TK? I just responded to your email earlier. Um, appreciate you reaching out. But uh, yeah, good afternoon, man. What's going on? Just going over this John Varvatos. Bill B says, my stuff is too low end and most without name brands. I need to step up my game. Thanks for the info. Starting to get motivated again. Yeah. I mean, if you want to learn more about what brands to buy and sell, I've got a couple various guides that I've created 101 killer clothing brands, 102 killer clothing brands. Links are down in the description down below. Um, if you scroll all the way down, but the cool things about those books is not only can you use them to make money with clothing, but a lot of these brands, like as you saw with John Varvatos, they make things like, you know, handbags. They make things like um, sunglasses and just all different types of items. So if you can become familiar with what brands are high end and what brands have like that strong following, it really will help you when you're out in the field looking at other types of items and, you know, diving into various categories like handbags or sunglasses or different fashion accessories, ties, hats, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, if you guys have any ideas of future brands you want me to go over or types of items you want me to research live with you guys, just definitely, you know, drop a comment down below. Um, I'm going to just go in and see if there's any more questions coming on in. If you guys have any questions at all about making money online, e-commerce, eBay, drop a question down below. I'm going to be here to help you guys out as much as I can. Breach Shop says, I found Etro last week, super expensive. Yeah, I actually saw a uh, Etro Milano dress shirt the other day. It was beautiful at my local Savers. It was a great looking button front shirt, but they wanted 15 bucks for it. So I just couldn't pay up for it. Barbara says, I have those two books. The Killer Brands has made me a lot of money. Thanks, Steve. Awesome, Barbara. I'm glad, I'm glad they've been able to help you. Deb says, trampoline in the bedroom. Oh, man, I'm not, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot stick. Morsi Media, what's going on, Morsi? How are you? Let me know where are you from, and you know how new are you to eBay? I'd definitely be curious. Morsi says new to eBay. Thanks for your advice. You are welcome. Jennifer says smash that like button. That's what I'm saying. Eric says like your T-shirt. I appreciate that. It says um, always in control. That's what I like to think. <laughs> Breach Shop says I find. I live in the Bay, the Bay Area in California, beautiful area. I find Jarvano, I, I I find John Varvatos. So it's out there in Cali. Hey, Rakin, keep up the watercress and the kale. All right, I will. <laughs> Breach Shops has been finding a lot of territory ahead. You know, territory ahead used to sell for a lot more. You got to be careful with it. When it comes to like shirts and stuff, you know, short sleeves and long sleeves. I try to stick with the, the more creative, unique Navajo pattern, interesting designed items. I try to stay away from the bland items or, you know, focus on the bigger items like the leather jackets and stuff, but definitely a great brand if you find the right items. 
JB, stay out of the Bristol Sabres. I rarely ever go over there. I think I've been there like maybe two times in the last year, so you'll probably never see me there. Bradley Bradley says, hey, Steve, ran across Barbados in the past but didn't know it was a hot brand. Yeah, I mean, not every single item in John Barbados' brand is going to sell for good money, but it's a solid brand, and it's it's a good designer brand. I like it. TK wants me to do a, a video on women's purses. I see a few coach purses at the thrift stores for 30. Not sure if they sell. Yeah, we could definitely go through that. That's a good idea. Jennifer says, I live in North Idaho. I've been selling on eBay for two months. Pretty cool. What's going on, Mr. Brian Huntsman in the house making an appearance. Good to see you, Brian. Good afternoon, packing up a couple of suits and a sport coat. I don't know if you guys mess with sport, sport coats and suits, but uh, if you're looking to raise your average order sale, those are definitely some great items to get into. You know, they take a little longer to sell. Sometimes they're more expensive, a little uh, more time-consuming to list, but they sell for a good amount of money when they pop. So definitely be on the lookout for suits. Yeah, Breeze Shop is saying suits do well for John Barvados. Absolutely. Daft Fabrics saying his purses are tough, especially the ones that are known to be counterfeits. That's why I've always kind of stayed away from them is because I just always had a hard time telling if they were real or not. And there's just so many other items out there. I just, I don't know, I just always kind of stayed away from purses. Anise is saying, from Atlanta, currently buying the supplies, about to start selling soon. Just jump right into it. Find some items, go to the garage sales, go to the thrift stores, pick them up and just start listing, you know, because it's going to take some time for you to get your listing um, limits raised, right? You're only going to be able to list a certain amount of items and a certain dollar amount. So just get started as soon as possible. Don't worry if you lose a little money at first or you're not perfect or you make some mistakes. It's part of the game, but just get started. So when you're ready to really go full force, you can have those limitations raised, which usually take like a month or two, I think. You are welcome to fabric. I'm all about giving those sunglasses tips. Fasanable blazers, big sizes sell fast. Yeah, that's one of those brands too. They've got some interesting items. Albuquerque uh, and suits and blazers are great to sell. Found a Pelly Pelly jacket last week. Great find, and I didn't know about it. I don't have a ton of experience selling Pelly Pelly, but I know some of them sell well. Cindy Wise says, hey, thanks for the videos. I have family in North Haven. So that's about an hour from, from where I live. I'm over near the Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut area. Chris Lee says, howdy from Orlando. Did you ever sell Hawaiian shirts and how do you store your stuff while waiting for sale? Yeah, I definitely sell Hawaiian shirts. Tommy Bahama, Nat Nast. Um, you know, there's Kennington. There's, there's a lot of various brands. R Ryan or Rain Spooner. I, I always have a hard time pronouncing that one. Um, but yeah, Hawaiian shirts do very well, right? Um, how do I store them? Well, there's a couple different ways. You can either store them in bins, so you can poly bag them and then store them in bins and then close the bin, or you can just hang them on clothing hangers. And then like, I, I, I put a piece of masking tape over it and I put a, a letter and a number on it to associate like an inventory number. Um, so those are the, the two options that I store my items. Have you had any experience with Jeff Hamilton NFL jackets? Um, I don't know if I've had, I don't really know a lot of those players and stuff. So I don't really like, I'm not like an expert when it comes to like what players are the best and whatnot. Um, but I've sold jackets before starter jackets, chalk line jackets. Um, I don't find a ton of them though. They're kind of hard to come across. Uh, Sherry white. What's up, Sherry had a pair of JV chuckas up for 30 days now, maybe overpriced at 80. My son wore for one week, size 13. Yeah. You got to look at the sole listings and, um, try to find comparable sales. Um, you know, also take a look at your pictures, keywords, different things like that. But if it's not selling, you might want to lower the price. I have two trampolines, but don't use them. Do you just bounce or their workouts you do with the trampoline? I just, I just bounce. Um, I just pretty much jump up and down for five or 10 minutes per day. It's good to get the lymph moving. It's good for boosting energy and um, strengthening the immune system. So those are like the main benefits I use it for. I don't really use it for like weight loss because it's, I'm a little more advanced now in my training. So jumping up and down, like, isn't really tiring for me, um, but it's good for, uh, for um, activating the lymphatic system. Uh, Prashado Torres. What's going on? Good to see you. Woo. I finally made it to one of your live chats. Thanks for all your great advice. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Cheese balls are ties. A good item to sell new to the game. So just trying to build my knowledge, actually go on my YouTube channel, cheese balls. I love that name. You're making me hungry and just type rake and profit ties. And I've got a video where I go through all the best selling ties on eBay. So definitely check that out. There is great money to be made with ties. Uh, very low investment.
right? They're cheap to, to be able to purchase. And when they sell, they usually sell pretty decent price. If you get the right items, um, they could take a little longer to sell than you might want to wait, but just a great item, easy to ship, you know, first class, five ounces, easy to store, you know, you could hundred of them in like a bin. So uh, great, great item to definitely uh, have in your inventory. Justin Packman, any knowledge on old school army hats? And do you know any good places to research? I don't want to sell the cheaper, the overpriced. I don't really have a lot of knowledge with those. I would just dive into the sole listings, honestly. Um, maybe look at some forums, maybe put some posts in Facebook groups. But unfortunately, I don't really know much about those. Lewis uh, Oliveres, hey, from East Hartford. What's going on, man? You're right down the street from me. Good to see you. We got to get up sometime. Go thrifting. Anytime cheese balls. Deb is saying just bounce. So I think that's about it. I actually got to get going. I have a, uh, I have an interview coming up with, I don't know if you guys know Joe Clay, but he's a merch by Amazon seller. We're actually going to be pre-recording an episode. Um, I think episode number 17 of the Rake and Profit show. So I've got a lot of, I'm, I'm pretty far in advance with the Rake and Profit show. I think we're on like episode 11 coming up tomorrow. Um, but I'm recording episode 17 today with Joe Clay. So I got to get over to that right now and record that video with him. And he's going to be sharing how he makes $500 a month plus, or how you could with merch by Amazon. So I got to go over there, record that show. Um, mommy, mommy articles is saying, is there a discount code for the green room? Um, we actually are going to have a black Friday sale running soon. So between you and I, shh, I would just wait. Something's going to be coming out soon. So if you're not already on the email list, go down below. There's a, there's a free book we have called a hundred amazing items to resell. If you're watching this, download that book right now. You're going to get opted onto our email list. We, we send out a bunch of free stuff, but also we're going to be sending out like a sales email with like a discount code for black Friday. So uh, don't let anybody know that's between you and I, but, um, get on the email list, download that free book, go through it. And, um, you'll, you'll, you'll be, you'll be in the loop when we run that sale. So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching again. If you haven't already hit that like button down below, we got 90 people watching, smash that like button, leave a comment. And I look forward to speaking with you guys in the next video. Go out there, go pick some John Varvato's items, go make some money. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.